Old Main. This building, when it was still unfinished, constituted the university when it opened to 42 students and 5 faculty in September of 1887. The site was a center of what had been Laramie City Park, a block of 10 acres of land deeded by the Union Pacific Railroad to the city soon after the town had been laid out. The park was a terminus for Center Street, designated to be the main avenue in Laramie. Later, the street was renamed University. As early as 1881, Governor John Hoyt requested that the legislature accept 65 sections of federal lands for the establishment of a university. The action did not occur until 1885. Hoyt said years later, had the establishment of a university not brought with it certain financial benefits, it is unlikely that the territorial legislature would have considered it at all. In the early years, every function was housed in Old Main, then known as the Main Building. When Dr. Grace Raymond Hebert accepted the job as university librarian, she presided over a collection of some 3,000 volumes stacked in the library on the second floor. The assembly room held not only morning assemblies for the entire university in those days, but also served as a primary lecture hall for visiting dignitaries. Even though the room could accommodate the entire student body and faculty well into the early 1900s, it was insufficiently large to hold the crowd coming to hear President Theodore Roosevelt when he visited Laramie in 1903. He spoke from the front west porch prior to mounting a horse and riding the 50 miles over the summit to Cheyenne. As late as 1904, UW consisted of Old Main, a barn behind it to the east, used by Ag, Mechanical Hall, a heating plant annex, Science Hall, which is now the Geology Building, and a new gymnasium completed in 1904. Major renovations of the structure were made in 1949 and again in the mid-1970s. The tower was removed when it was determined to be unsafe in 1960 making it easy to date photographs of Laramie based on the feature's presence. It currently houses the President and the Vice President's offices and staffs.